there, guess, there are only three there are only process. three things you can do with a particular task. Okay. Three things. And it's real simple. You either do the task, you delegate the task, or you dump it. It's only three things you can do. You can't do anything else. Physically. So all of a sudden now you've got you set up priorities, it's four o'clock, and you just don't know how things are going to get done. You've got to either do it all or you've got to delegate it all. Those are the things that have to get done on that particular time. So from a management perspective, what usually needs to get done is some kind of assistance through delegation, assistance through other team members, because perhaps dumping it is not an option in some cases. In some cases, it is an option. In some cases, they say, you know what, we just don't have to do it. If we do this particular other one twice as fast or twice as good, we'll get the same benefit and I can wait on this for X amount of time. And that's what the other thing about the priority chart does, is it forces you to look at what's most urgent and what, from an importance and non-importance point of view, that is. And that's why that needs to get done daily. But, I mean, there is, look, there is no silver bullet. Um, I teach a time management class sometimes, and the first thing I say is, if you think I come eight, eight days in a week and 13 months in a year, then leave now because it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a matter of your own process. And the other question is, is what will you learn from it? How will the next time you have to face this similar situation, what will occur? And that's one of the great things from a management perspective, is that you really have to look at yourself as a manager and your interaction with the rest of your associates, your community, and what you have from a team member.